Well, we hear it over and over again. SMEs contribute about 99% to economic growth in the Philippines, yet access to finance remains one of the biggest stumbling blocks. Here to talk about their answer to that age-old issue is Patrick Lynch. He's a co-founder and CEO of First Circle. Patrick, good to have you on the show with good us. Morning. Uh, First Circle literally just launched just a few days ago. Indeed. Explain to us how it works. Sure. Well, when we, we sat out in this journey, what we realized that we needed to do in order to empower small businesses was really to reduce the amount of time that it takes for them to open an account with us. And uh, our target for that was actually 24 hours. And then also uh, to reduce the amount of time that it takes for them to avail of finance. And so everything that we've done so far in building a wonderful technology stack has been really geared towards um, improving the availability of finance for small businesses. So it's essentially easy access to finance for any type of SMAs. Um, mm -hmm. And we actually pulled some uh, stats off your website that shows exactly how tedious it is for uh, SMEs in the Philippines. Uh, it takes 14 hours to complete paperwork, requires three in-person visits Indeed. to the branch, to, and takes 34 days uh, for a decision to be made on their application. Exactly how are you trying to, uh, you know, uh, leapfrog all of these issues? Sure, so what we've done is we've built a full end-to-end -end solution which gives us uh, great control over the full customer journey. Uh, and real, in real time, we're collecting lots of information about the borrowers, which means by the time that we're actually making a decision, we know a huge amount. And that means that at the time that we have to make a decision whether or not to provide finance to the borrowers, that we've, we have really know, know a huge amount already by that stage. That means if I'm an SME and I'm interested in a ap loan application, by the time I fill out the paperwork, you already know much more well, about so me than no what's on paper. There is no paperwork. It's all online. Oh, that's right. Sorry. It's all online. So uh, the applicants come through the website, www.firstcircle.ph, um, and we're collecting information, of course, which is submitted to us by the, the client. And we're also collecting information which is given to us uh, so by third-party data providers. And what that allows us to do is really build a full picture of the business and what it is that they're looking for um, with, with the use of proceeds. And the length of time means that we can actually give businesses the chance to, to compete and to win um, purchase orders, for example, which they would otherwise miss. Out of all the clients that you've managed to uh, win so far, any particular industries that find this kind of service uh, over the app uh, transactions uh, more conducive to them? Sure. Well, so from the outset, we've really been very active in building strong partnerships. So we partnered with Go Nego Show. Um, and, and Secretary Lopez has since endorsed us since he's become the uh, Secretary of the DTI. Uh, we partnered also with Philippine Exporters and with the e-commerce platforms Lazada and Zalora. What that means is that we've used those partnerships to enable their, their businesses, so exporting businesses or e-commerce merchants in particular, to, to meet those purchase order transactions which they would otherwise miss. So exporters and retailers uh, looking like... On uh, online retailers. Indeed. Online retailers and exporters yeah. seeming to be some of your biggest clients. Yeah. Um, look, it's no secret that the banking industry in the Philippines really is ripe for disruption as it is everywhere mm -hmm. in the world. And if you take a look at the stats, there's also uh, SME loans to GDP in the Philippines. Look at that, quite dismal, just 3.1%. Yeah. That's a light green bar to, to my left over here, 10.3%. 3% uh, loans to total. Mm -hmm. um, how there are, however, a growing number of uh, you know industry body backed uh, yeah. type of services like yours. For instance, loanpinas.com. How are you looking to distinguish sure. yourselves from the competition? So indeed, we see a lot of activity, but primarily actually in the going out and finding small businesses, going out and. Um, trying to enable them to get access to the financial services. Now, what we do is we sit behind a lot of these, these partners um, and we actually run the risk analytics. We uh, provide the finance to the small businesses. And so uh, Lone Pinas and, and some of the others which you've mentioned are uh, or will soon become partners of First Circle. What's the growth strategy here? What's, your, uh, what's, the, what's the end goal? Sure, well, look, I mean, if, if you look across Southeast Asia, we estimate that the market size is about 50 billion US. Uh, in the Philippines, it's probably somewhere around 8 or 9 billion US. Um, for us, we've been growing at over 100% quarter on quarter, so that's the target for the next, I would say, 18 to 24 months, and, and then we'll see where we are uh, at that time. You're going to try to hit 100% quarter on quarter target for the next 18 months. The Did I hear that months. right? Absolutely right. That is an absolutely ambitious target, and I wish you well from that. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much for your time, Patrick Lynch, CEO for Circle.